Hey guys, happy Sunday. I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend so far. Today we have some samples to share with you guys that I've tried for this past week that I pulled in last week's Sample Sunday series. They're here in this cute little bowl. So I'm going to talk about these samples and just tell you guys whether or not I feel like I would purchase the full size in these products. So the first one here is the Banana Boat Dry Balance. Helps you feel fresh SPF 30. It has a broad spectrum SPF 30 actually. So it says it has a soft match soft matte finish a skin breathes easily it's water resistant for 80 minutes i couldn't check out whether or not it's water resistant i couldn't really check out the sun protection to be honest with you guys i have no idea how good it is at sun protection because we've had some horrible weather here in virginia this past week so it wasn't the best thing for me to try this week there was only one day that i could wear it was like yeah it was nice outside but I mean, I can't really say much on that part, but I do trust Banana Boat. I've used Banana, Banana Boat in the past and I've loved it. So I know that it is a good product. It's not like an expensive brand. It's very budget friendly. So I feel like this is a good product. So I can say I would purchase the full size on it because I know I have purchased full size in the past, just not the specific one. The next thing is the Batiste. This is the floral and fruity blush. This is the dry shampoo. You guys, I think my hair is breaking off from dry shampoo. Is that possible? I feel like my hair in the front right here is breaking off from where I use a lot of dry shampoo and it's not from the spoof video from yesterday. So it's not from that. It's like been happening for a while and I don't know if it's the dry shampoo causing it or it's because I've been trying to fix the color from when we went to Disney and the lady had colored my hair too dark and I'm trying to lighten it back up but do it gradually. So I don't know what's causing it but either way my hair is breaking off pretty badly and I don't know if it's dry shampoo. But either way, this is a good dry shampoo. It's a very budget friendly dry shampoo. I feel like it smells really good. It leaves a horrible white cast though. So if you, not, if you guys do not like a white cast in your dry shampoo, this is not the one for you because it's going to leave a dramatic white cast in your hair. It almost makes your hair feel like you just poured baby powder in your head because it's very, very like not silky, like gritty. So it gives your hair that grip. So if you have like very clean hair and you want to kind of give your hair some a little bit of texture or something like that, this would be a good thing to give your hair a little bit of texture so that it can hold curl and things like that. But for me, I think I'm going to kind of back away from dry shampoos for a little bit and see if maybe my hair starts to heal itself because I have a feeling that dry shampoos are causing my hair to break off. I don't know if that's possible or not, or maybe I'm just crazy. Either way, it is a good one. I know I would purchase the full size, just not right now, not anytime soon because I'm going to test and see if my hair does better without any dry shampoos for a little while. The next thing is the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. This is the Wild with Nourishing Minoy Oil. I was going to say wild honey. I thought I don't know why, but I thought it was like a wild honeysuckle for some reason in that picture. Um, but this is really, really good. I like this one better because there's certain ones that you have to put on like while you're showering. This one you put on after you showered. So like after you've washed your whole body and you're getting ready to step out of the shower while your body's still, still damp, you're just going to rub this in very quickly and then you're going to pat dry with your towel so that it's kind of, you can kind of keep some of that moisture from this product. This is really nice. I do enjoy this. I didn't find any slipperiness in my tub or anything, whereas the other one that I had before that you actually use while you're showering, like you wash it off and I'm like, how much sense does that make? But anyway, that one makes your tub very, very slippery. So I don't like that one. I don't know which one, which one that one was, but this one is better. So if you're looking for a good moisturizer that you can use like immediately while your skin <clears throat> is still wet, this is a really good one. So I do recommend this and I know I would purchase the full size. The next thing is the Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne in a, Stat in a Snap. So I had one acne issue during the week and then of course now I have a new one. So I'm like, go figure. I should have waited till, till I had this one, but the one I had was a very small one. This is not very wet. Like when you snap it, like it has the moisture in the tube. It's like a little Q-tip. And when you snap it, there's moisture that will go down to the pink, which is like the Calamon lotion type of product. It goes down to that and it gets it wet and then you can put it on, but it's very dry. I don't feel like there's enough liquid into the little tube myself because I personally have the full sizes of this and I, they work, that works amazing. So the other thing is do never, do not shake that bottle up because I've shaken the bottle up before about by accident and been like, Oh yeah, you don't shake that. Don't shake it. So anyway, I do think this is neat, but I feel like they should put a little bit more product in there. I feel like it's not quite enough, not quite wet enough. So it's not helping it to get that pink, which is the Calamon lotion, which the Calamon lotion technically is to soothe. And then the actual liquid that's in there is the medicine that's going to help improve your acne. So there's just not enough acne medication in it, in my opinion. So I probably wouldn't purchase like the full sizes in these because I'd rather just get the bottle of it. The next thing is the Oribe, or Oribe, I have no idea how to pronounce it. This is the Gold Lush Transformative Mask. Oh my gosh, guys. 
you guys have ever smelled anything from Orbe or Arabe, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. If you guys have ever tried anything from this brand, let me know because I love the smell of this product. It smells so, so good. It didn't do much for detangling my hair though, so I was quite disappointed in that. And I used the entire tube in like one shampoo, so like I know if I would have used that much, it should have detangled my hair. It didn't really detangle it, so I was a little disappointed in that because I was like, look, that's your main purpose is to detangle. That's what I always say, like if I'm looking for a conditioner, its main job is to detangle, smooth my hair and detangle my hair. That's all you have to do. You had like one job, right? And it didn't even do that. It smells nice. I would not purchase the full size because it's very expensive and I felt like it didn't detangle my hair. The next thing is the Giorgio Armani. This is the fluid shear. So this to me is basically like like a Becca primer, like the one of her, like the backlight or the first light, one of those. This is a little bit pinky toned, but when you put it onto your skin, it just gives your skin like a, a luminescence to it. And then you put your foundation over top of it and it's gonna make your foundation look a little bit more luminous. I personally will prefer the Becca one because it's more budget friendly. It's got a better price to it. This one's a lot more expensive. So for me, I'm just gonna say I'm not gonna purchase it. But if you're looking for something and you're looking for something within the Giorgio Armani line, this is a good one. So there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's pricey for what it is. The next thing is this right here. This is the Philosophy Time in a Bottle. This is the Resist, Renew and Repair Serum. No difference. I didn't see any kind of difference whatsoever using this product right here. I am used to be like a huge philosophy lover and I think I love more of their body care products like their lotions, their bath gels and things like that but like their skincare I'm noticing I don't love it quite as much as I thought I did. I think I was just in love with the brand so I was like oh my gosh you know everything's gonna be great but the more I use their skincare products I'm like they're not that great. They're okay. It's not that fancy. So for me I would say no I'm not gonna purchase this. That's a pass. The next thing is the Avene. This is the Hydrance Serum. Now this is really good. The Avene line is really, really good. Avene, Avene. I know they, they have like a water too that you can spray onto your skin, which is very nice. It's like very hydrating. This was a very hydrating little product as well. So I like this line. This is a very good line. So, But I can't say I like everything from the line. I've only tried a few things from the line, but this was a good one as well as the water thing that you can spray onto your skin. So, so far out of the line, these two things I know I do enjoy. This was very hydrating for my skin. It's not a very thick serum. It's a very thin serum. So you're definitely still going to use need to use a moisturizer on top of it. Don't just use this and depend on this to do all your moisturization. Serums and moisturizers should be used in combination when you're doing your nightly skincare. So I would still use a, a moisturizer on top. The next thing is something that I really loved. Like I need to purchase the full size like immediately. This is the Soap and Glory Pillow Plump. I'm wearing it on my lips today. It doesn't really plump my lips a whole lot but I feel like it plumps them a little bit. I can definitely tell a difference. I don't know if maybe I should show you guys in a video or something because you can definitely see a little bit of a difference. This color is really pretty too. This is the shade. Great, I threw away the box and I have no idea what the color is here now. That's awesome, good job, Tiffany. I don't know. It just says Sexy Mother Pucker, but I think they're all called that, aren't they? Maybe, I don't know. So it's the Pillow Plump and Sexy Mother Pucker. Um, the tingling that it gives your lips, I feel like it's kind of like you ever sit on your foot and it goes to sleep and you get that little needle feeling in your feet when you like after you're moving around again, you're trying to get, I guess, not oxygen, blood flow back to, back to that area. So once you're doing that, that's how it kind of feels to me on my lips. I feel like it feels the same exact way. Like you've got that tingly sensation in your lips, like you're trying to get blood flow to it, which I guess that's where it's drawing the blood flow to your lips, which is gonna make your lips look a little bit more plump. I'm not sure. I'm not a scientist, so I can't tell you exactly how they did it or how they formulated it, but I can tell you how it makes my lips feel. It smells really good. It's got almost like a caramel-like scent. Really do enjoy this. I know I would purchase the full size and this is pretty cool. If you were to compare this versus the Too Faced, the um, lip injections, the something extreme, I can't remember what it's called, but either way, if you're comparing this between that, I would choose this one over the Too Faced. The Too Faced is very, very intense in my opinion. I feel like that one's a lot more intense because they actually use jalapenos in the, the Too Faced one from what I understand. So the Too Faced one, I would pass on. This one, I would purchase. The next thing is the Juicy Couture, the Majestic Woods. I don't like this. It's too strong. It's got a very woodsy note, honestly. It just really does have a woodsy note to it. And the woodsy note is not a good one in my opinion. So I like their more fruity floral fragrances that Juicy Couture has come out with. They do have like a, um, what is their one they have that comes in a, a black bottle? I can't remember. 
But anyway, I know I like their most of their fragrances that I've tried before, but this one's just a little too strong in my opinion. It's just not for me. The next thing is this right here. This is the Tropical Wish. I think this is the one that came in like the Walmart thing. So I think this is like the Walmart type of product. I don't remember like who makes it or whatnot, but I'm pretty sure this is the Walmart one. What happened with this one though, which is really crappy, is that, oh, of course it's going to spray now. Of course it will. During the week, I could not get this thing to spray. And I'm not kidding you. I sat there and pumped and pumped. And now it's going to spray like crazy. It smells really, really good. So, I mean, that does have nothing to do with the full size anyway. Like the way that this is going to spray. Because a full size is not going to be comparable to a, a little vial of it. But it smells really, really good. It's very floral, fruity. It reminds me almost of like a Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret scent. Like their fruity fragrances. Like the pink scents and things like that. That's what it reminds me of. So it's like got, got a little bit of coconut, a little bit of fruit. So it just smells very summery. So this is something that I know I would consider purchasing because it smells really, really good. Just wish that the pump would have worked better for me this week because I was hoping to spray it more because I was like, man, it smells good. But I couldn't get the pump to work. It was like crapping out on me. Okay. Now let's go ahead and start with the new products that we're going to be using this week. So the first basket we're going to pull here is the hair care basket. This is the one that you guys guessed weighed on last week. So I can't wait to tell you guys who won. You guys might be surprised how much this little basket weighs. My husband was actually surprised because I was ha I was showing him like everybody's guesses and everything. And then we weighed it together and he's like, whoa, he guessed way more. Honestly, he guessed way more than what the basket weighs. So that tells you anything. The first sample out of here is hopefully not at our shampoo. This is the, okay, dry texture spray. This is the one by Frederick Fakai, the one and, the one and then some dry texturizing spray. It says it has exclusive marine complex lightweight for all hair types. I'm not sure what marine complex is, but hmm, I'm interested in trying it out because I need things that's going to give my hair texture because my hair, I feel like is a little bit flat lately. So, especially since I didn't use any dry shampoo for a couple of days, I used the Batiste for a few days after I got it and then I realized my hair was breaking off and I'm like, ugh. Okay, the next thing in here is, ooh, I think this is the second time I'm gonna be sampling this, but it's not through the same series. So this is something that I, I got in my Sephora Play, I think it was, maybe it was my Sephora, yeah, it was my Sephora Play. This is the Marajo Hair Cares, Hair Care. This is the Nourishing Cleansing Cream and the Deep Treatment Butter. So. Hopefully it's good because I'm going to be testing it out twice, which will be good too because if you test it out twice, it'll let you know whether or not it actually does work because one time sometimes can give you a good opinion on it, but two times using it, you can definitely get a good opinion on whether or not the product's good. Now we're moving on to makeup, so we're going to pull two out of the makeup basket here. So the first one is, uh, here we go. Ooh, it's just a little card here. We have the Urban Decay All Nighter, so the liquid foundation. Wait, I've, I've had this before, so I'm not going to sample this. I've already tried that before. It does not work. I have it actually. Nope, nope, I don't have it. I sold it. Um, it doesn't work well for dry skin in my opinion. So if you have dry skin, I would steer clear of that foundation. The next one is something from Tarte. This is Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops. Ooh, these are Radiance Drops in Goots Eclat. What? I'm not even sure what that says. So maybe you can read it and tell me what it says because I don't know. <laughs> So let's see what this looks like. Oh, with some little drops here. So here's some little drops. Pretty sure this was like a point perk type thing at Sephora. So we'll try that out and see how good that is. The next makeup sample is, what do we got here? Ooh, what's this? This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This I've already tried. I've purchased the full size in, so I'm gonna put this aside for someone to use for the next giveaway, the sample giveaway. That's really, really nice. It's very moisturizing, very lightweight. It's uh, kind of reminds me of the Too Faced Hangover RX, but it doesn't have the coconut smell. The next thing is something. Oh, we got another lip. No, is that? No, the other one's not a lip product. It's a dirt. This is the NARS and Star Woman. Star Woman. So it's like, is that like Superwoman type thing? Oh my gosh, it's very bright. So here's what Star Woman looks like. It's a very bright red. That'll be awesome to wear for this coming week since it's Easter week. Oh, I can't even get the lid off, guys. Oh, you twist it. <laughs> yes, I'm so smart. <laughs> okay, so it's like a, it's got a little applicator here, so we'll have to try that out and see how good it is. I don't know. It's a bright red shade, though, and that's definitely not an Easter shade, but that's okay. We'll make it work. <clears throat> now we're moving on to the body care basket. The body care basket we're going to pull two out of. So the first one here is 
Usarin. Usarin. This one I think I've used, not in our sample series, but I think I've used it a long time ago. This is the Usarin he Original Healing, a rich cream for very dry, compromised skin. What does that mean? What does compromised skin mean? I don't know. The next one is, ooh, this is the Body Shop Pina Colada. Now that's what I'm talking about. Do you like pina coladas and dancing in the rain? Okay. Let me just say, if my pina colada smell like this, I'd probably send it back. So it's not that good so far. Okay, so now moving on to the big basket, which is the skincare basket. We have it here. So we're going to pull three out of this basket. We're still trying to get through this basket. It's generous. So I'm going to dig far down in here and we got something big. What do we have? We have the Mario Badescu Glycolic Cleanser, Gly Glycolic Acid Toner. I have a full size in this, so I'm not going to be using this. I'm just going to pass this along because I don't need to use another one when I already have one that I'm actually using in our bathroom right now. I had the full size. It's a really good toner. It does tingle a little bit. It's a little minty on your skin, so if you don't like those feelings, you may not like that. The next one is... The CeraVe, this is the healing ointment. This is another sample I've already tried before, so I'm going to pass that along as well. So we've got lots of samples that are getting passed this time. The next one is, ooh, Pacifica Kale Detox. This is the deep cleansing face wash. It says it removes makeup and cleanses and tones. It has coconut water and super greens. It's for oily and blemish prone skin types. Oh my gosh, that was, I don't have oily. But I certainly have blemish prone, so we'll have to try this out and see how good that works. That's a cute little bottle. I like the color, too. It's very spring-like. looks like green grass. All right, the next thing is L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Pure Clay Cleanser. It says to detox and brighten clay to mousse. It says it has, it removes everyday impurities, dirt, oil, and pollution. That's pretty cool. I've never seen one actually say that it removes pollution. That's interesting. And then the last one out of here is, what do we have? We have the House 99 by David Beckham. What? I think this might be for men. The House 99 by David Beckham. The look, the greater look face moisturizer. <clears throat> moisturizer can be for anybody though, right? It doesn't have to be for men or for women. So let's see. There's what it looks like. I have never even heard of this brand. Have you guys ever even heard of this? I'm going to smell it and see if it smells manly. Oh my gosh, I'm like so weak today. Didn't eat my Wheaties. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it smells like a man. <laughs> my, <laughs> I'm honestly, I'm afraid to use that. It's very fragrance. I'm going to pass it along to my husband. I'm not going to try that because that's got a lot of fragrance in it. And it smells exactly like a man. You know what? I do have a, a little video coming up. I'm going to use it. I have a video coming up soon that I'm going to do on my channel, and it, it has something to do with using something like this, so we're going to use it. We're going to try it anyway. I'm just afraid since it was so fragranced. That's the only reason that I was concerned, because it's got a lot of fragrance to it. So now we're going to move on to the perfume samples, and we have our little sample back, or bucket here. So the first one is, this is the La Vie Estabelle. I'm pretty sure I just butchered that. This is by Lancome. So here's a little perfume by Lancome. So I'm excited to try that out. I've never tried that scent. And then the next scent is the Citrine by Nest Fine Fragrances. I think these are perfume samples that my friend sent me. So, oh my gosh, I can't wait to try these out because this sounds really good. It's Citrine. And then what was the other one? Where'd he go? Here she is. This is the La Vie Isabelle. So both of these are different. Something that I know I've never smelled before. So I'm excited to try both of those and see if they're any good. So moving on to the giveaway from last week. <clears throat> Guys, I think I'm losing my voice. Okay, so moving on to the giveaway from last week. I'm going to pull up my phone here so I can show you the picture of the basket while I weighed it so that you know that we actually weighed the basket. Let me find my picture. Um, where'd it go? There it is. Okay. So the basket last week, which was the basket that's sitting over here now, which is the hair care basket, we guessed on to see how much it weighed. And then whoever won that wins this little goodie bag right here. So this is the goodie bag that you're going to be winning if you guess the right amount. And the right amount is right here. I will show you. It is 6 pounds, 12 ounces. So that is weighed on a food scale. So I know the ounces are correct. 
So, and then the person who won it is Emmy's Review. So, Emmy, you won this little giveaway here. So, I would like for you to send me an email. My email will be listed in the description box below. Send me an email with your mailing address and I'll mail this out to you. So, you won the little goodie bag. So, good job guessing. I have another guessing game for you guys this week. So, hang tight and I'll show you guys what you could be winning and we'll figure out how you're going to win it. So, First of all, I need to go pause you because I need to go get the thing that you're going to be guessing about because I'm so smart that I forgot to bring it over with me. So hang tight, guys. Okay, guys, I got the item that you're going to be guessing. So let's start with what you could win first. So the goodie bag for this week comes in this cute little Ulta goodie bag. These are so cute. This reminds me of springtime. I don't know about you guys, but it reminds me of springtime with that little detail here, here with the cutout detail. It's cute. And then, of course, it's one of my favorite colors. So let's talk about all the goodies that are in here. So the first thing is a perfume. This is the Derek Lamb Crosby. This is the 2 a.m. Kiss. So here's a perfume sample. Then we have a Maybelline Lash Stiletto Ultimate Length Mascara. It's a 70% longer lashes and one-stop shiny patent finish. So here is a full-size mascara. Then we have a Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer. So here's a little bronzer from Bare Minerals. Then we have a Cover FX. These are the Custom Enhancer Drops, and this is in the shade, um, I don't know. Is there no shade on here? Moonlight. So here's the shade Moonlight for the Custom FX, the Cover F drop, Cover Drops. Oops, I just dropped it. The next thing is the Benefit Roller Lash, so you get a little mascara again, another mascara to try out. Then you get a little lip palette. It's not used, guys. I just don't have the packaging to it anymore, so I wanted to verify that. And it has a little scratch on here, but it was like that when I received this. This has never been touched, never been used. This is a lip palette from Laura Geller. This is the Dream, Cre Dream Creams Lip Palette Berry. So it's a little lip palette you can test out to see if you like these type of things. I did not use it, I promise you. I did not touch it. The next thing is the Clinique, the Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for lids and lids and what? Lids, lashes, and lips. So here's a little Clinique take the day off. Then we have a Peter Thomas Roth, the 24 karat gold mask, a little sample of the 24 karat gold mask from Peter Thomas Roth. This is actually a pretty good mask. It feels very hydrating on your skin. So if you guys have never tried it, it's pretty good. Then the last thing is a Kat Von D locket concealer. So here's a little locket concealer sample. I'll have to tell you guys the shade of it because I don't know if this shade is medium cool. So I don't think it's going to work for everybody, but there's other things in here if you win this and it doesn't work for your skin tone that you could use. So that's everything in this goodie bag for this week. So got some pretty cool things in here that you could get. Got a couple full-size products, which is always nice to get full-size products. So all you have to do to win this little goodie bag, if you're interested in winning, you have to tell me how many brushes are in my brush cup. So I'm going to give you guys a quick look. I'm going to swirl them around here because I don't want you guys like pausing it and like taking a screenshot or anything. And note, there are a lot of little brushes down in here too. So just because you see the big ones on top, oof, powder on them too. So just because you see the big ones here on top, there's some smaller brushes down in here. So you have to tell me how many brushes are in the cup. So that is the guessing game for this week. I've been loving doing it like this where we're guessing something. Like the guessing the weights of the baskets was amazing. That was so fun. It was like guessing baby weights, honestly. So for me, it was like... It was just fun, honestly. It's just, it's fun and games. And I think it makes it more interesting and more like interactive for you guys as well because then you guys feel like you can, it's just different. I don't know. It's just different and fun. So let me know if you guys would rather for me to go back doing it the old way where we kind of just, I pull a random name or if you like doing it this way where you guess. So let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'd love to know if you've tried some good samples lately. What samples did you try? Were they good? Were they bad? Let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Yeah, yeah.